Oh! It went everywhere. Oh, this is an absolute mess. Oh my God! Yeah. I'm Tom, and today I'm gonna to be making the most complicated cake I have ever tried to make. So today, I'm doing an 11 layer inclusive pride cake. We have to put in some effort here, so that's why I'm making what I hope to be one of the tallest rainbow cakes that has ever been made. I don't know, the jury's still out on that, maybe there's a Guinness World Record for it, but I think 11 cakes is a lot of cakes. I drew a picture of what I think the cake is going to look like so that I had something to refer to. Let's hope it turns out like this. You know like in the Great British Bake Off when they're describing the cakes and this beautiful illustration comes up? That was what I had going in my head. I took the colours from an inclusive pride flag that I found and then basically incorporated it into the idea of this massive rainbow cake. I'm using 750 grams of butter, 1,350 grams of flour, 900 grams of caster sugar, 18 medium-sized eggs, 6 teaspoons of baking powder, 6 pinches of salt, 6 teaspoons of vanilla extract, and then a bunch of different food colourings. So this cake might not be the most health conscious, but it will be the cake that makes you feel the most pride in your heart. Let's go. I don't have like a big fancy. Oh, okay. I actually don't have a big fancy like electric scale. I literally have this. So this is what we're working with, and it's fine. 125 grams of butter. Oh, it's already gone really wrong. Um, okay, lesson learned for that bit. Maybe be less cavalier for this Pride Month. I was just sort of trying to be myself, but never mind. Get it in the bowl. Huh. Lovely. All right, what's next? 225 grams of plain flour. So I'm gonna sieve this. 150 grams of caster sugar. And in the bowl. Three medium eggs. One. The Tres. That was a bit overzealous. Nearly cracked it everywhere, but it's fine. A teaspoon of baking powder. How much is a teaspoon like that? Yeah. Pinch of salt, that much. Okay. A teaspoon of vanilla extract. Delicious. Stunning. Never been done before. So I've got my ingredients here. Now, this is the fun bit where I get to use the stand mixer that I've never used before. All right, let's go. Ooh. I, for one, am really happy with that. Now, okay, are you literally kidding? Look at that. That looks really good. Oh God, the next, the next two words on the recipe are working quickly, so that's good. Um, working quickly, weigh the mixture into another bowl to work out the total weight, then weigh exactly half the mixture back into the mixing bowl. What I'm gonna do instead is eyeball it. It's just gonna happen eventually, wasn't it? So let's just do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna transfer half of this cake mix into this bowl. Okay, I'd say they're about the same. Just gonna go with it. So, here's the fun bit. I get to add the coloring. Okay, the coloring. All right, so first up is purple. So I'm gonna get the purple food dye and just sort of drop it in. I don't know how much to use. I'm gonna try three, four drops apparently. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm gonna need a lot more than four drops. It's like raspberry ripple. It just simply won't do. We're just gonna have to put in like way more. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Okay, looking more purple. This is good. This is still, I'd say, only at like a 30%. Just put loads in there, like that much. Yes. E numbers the house. Swirl it in. La da 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 da. What I wonder is, does there come a point when you add so much food coloring that it actually like affects how the cake bakes. I don't know. Okay, there we go, this looks good. Like, I'd say that's pretty solidly. That, that, is, that is purple, right? Next up, dark blue. I reckon blue will take quite quickly. Ooh, yeah. That looks so pretty. Come on, we want dark blue here, guys. Okay, my beautiful cakes. It's time for you to meet your destiny. Come on, purple cake. 
in. Blue cake. In. Will they both fit? Yes, they will. Wonderful. 12 minutes starting now. Okay, let's see. Ah, oh my God! Purple. Oh, the blue one is... Oh. A lesson on dominating the frame, am I right? I'm going to spare you the long and laborious details, but basically I repeated this entire process five times, adding different food colouring each time, until I finally had 12 beautiful finished multicoloured sponge cakes. I thought I would just take this opportunity to show you the mess that I've made in my kitchen, so have a look. Oh, oh no. Oh no no no. Oh no. Oh dear. I mean, I won't say it's the most minimalist clean bake I've ever done. Okay, so all the cakes are done. They are cooling on the cooling rack. To make the icing, very briefly beat the vanilla and cream cheese together with an electric whisk until smooth. Sift in the icing sugar and gently fold in with a spatula. One. Two. Three. Very briefly, beat the vanilla and cream cheese together. It went everywhere. And it says to sift in the icing sugar, of which there is 350 grams. I'm gonna sift in the icing sugar in like, in stages, like in bits, because it's so powdery that it gets everywhere. Okay. Icing is done. And now I have to do what I think is probably gonna be the hardest bit, which is construct the cake. So it's gonna go purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, red, white, blue, pink, brown, black. I know that the best thing for icing a cake is a palette knife, but I don't have one of them. So I have a like dinner knife, a dessert spoon, and like a massive, meat knife. I'm hoping that one of these things will suffice, but I guess the best thing is just to start. So first cake is purple. This is like, it's so precarious. It's like a big game of like cake Jenga. Here's the cake all assembled before it has the icing on. It looks kind of ugly, but I reckon once the icing is on it, and we slip slice in, it'll be beautiful. Oh, this is an absolute mess. Oh, I've really fallen at the final hurdle. But you know what? I don't have an end to that sentence. Oh my God, I got it in my hoodie. Okay, so this is what the cake looks like. I'm just gonna walk around. Um, let's be honest, it doesn't look great. It's not the best looking cake I've ever made, but it is absolutely massive. I'm going to put some cute little decorations on it. Oh my God, what a way to finish a rainbow cake, but with some rainbows. Let's get them on there. Capital letters? No, no, okay. All caps. We're going cursive. It looks like omelette. <laughs> Okay. Omelette. It just has like a lot of omelette. <laughs> I don't think that looks all that bad. Oh, that's, so that's cute. That's it's cute. cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. It's going through. Oh. Okay. The question is now. You need to like <gasps> just sort of, just sort of. What if I just sort of like do that and then yeah, like fluff it down? Try. Was there? Absolutely. Idea, I think nine out of ten. Execution, solid four. 
So, it's the next day. I finally had a bit of time to decompress from that stressful baking experience, and I've got some thoughts. This cake, from start to finish, took me about six hours. As far as I'm concerned, that is a very, very long time to be baking a cake. So, I think we can all agree that the full cake from the outside stood there on a plate, looked horrible. It like, <laughs> it was so grim looking. The icing was too thin. It was kind of lilting to one side. It was floppy, just, oh, it was just gross. Like I actually didn't like looking at it. However, when you cut into a slice of the cake, it looks kind of cute. I genuinely think as rainbow cakes go, that is quite impressive. Now, it's not as neat as we would like. Like the layers have started to kind of like blur into each other a bit. The kind of orange and yellow layers aren't as cooked as the rest. Also, you notice as you go from this side all the way down to the end, these cakes are a lot thinner. That's because the cakes on top are so heavy that they were like squishing the cakes beneath. So the purple, blue, and green cakes are really thin compared to like the brown and black ones, which are like a lot wider. The next thing to rate is the taste. Obviously this cake is all about the look, but you know, we still have to eat it and see how it tastes. So let's do that. I'm gonna get a bit from the top because I feel like that's less crushed. Maybe. Bit of light pink and the light blue, let's go. Was it worth it? Yeah, actually it was worth it. I had a really nice afternoon just baking and checking the oven and feeling like I was doing something really important and I had a really nice time and you know what? It may not taste great and it may have come out a bit wonky, but you know what? At the end of the day, the cake wasn't straight and neither am I. Happy Pride.